Imagine a clean fuel that leaves only water behind. This is the promise of hydrogen, the most abundant element in the universe. Unlocking its potential has been a challenge. We stand at the precipice of a transformation powered by green hydrogen. Not all hydrogen is created equal. Grey hydrogen uses fossil fuels, releasing carbon dioxide. Blue hydrogen attempts to capture emissions, but isn't truly clean. Green hydrogen uses renewable energy to split water, carbon-free. By using sunshine and wind, we can decarbonize sectors that have been difficult to clean up. Green hydrogen offers a pathway to power them sustainably. This transition is about reimagining our entire energy system for a cleaner, more resilient future. The shift towards green hydrogen represents a chance to establish ourselves as leaders in the clean energy economy of tomorrow. This is the dawn of the hydrogen economy, and India is poised to play a defining role. India, the world's most populous nation and a fast-growing economy, faces immense energy needs. Reliance on imported fossil fuels has created challenges, exposing our economy to volatile prices and contributing to pollution. India has committed to net zero emissions by 2070 and 50% renewables by 2030. Green hydrogen is key to achieving these goals. It's a versatile energy carrier that can power sectors like steel and shipping. Produced from renewable resources, it can be stored and used in various forms. With plummeting renewable energy costs, India has a competitive advantage in green hydrogen production. The National Green Hydrogen Mission aims to make India a global hub for its production, utilization and export, fostering innovation and energy security. On January 4, 2023, India took a monumental step towards securing its clean energy future. The Union Cabinet, led by Prime Minister Narendra Modi, approved the National Green Hydrogen Mission. This signaled to the world that India was ready to embrace the hydrogen economy with full force, positioning India as a proactive leader. The mission paves the nation's path to prosperity with green, sustainable solutions, moving away from carbon-intensive models. By harnessing renewable energy to produce green hydrogen, India aims for energy independence. This transforms a national challenge into a global opportunity, where energy security and environmental stewardship go hand in hand. The mission catalyzes the development of a complete ecosystem, including manufacturing equipment and creating infrastructure. The goal is to establish India as a global powerhouse in green hydrogen production, technology and export. The launch marks a new chapter defined by ambition, innovation and a resolute commitment to a sustainable tomorrow. The National Green Hydrogen Mission is built upon a foundation of clear, quantifiable and ambitious targets. These goals are designed to rapidly scale up India's capabilities and establish its leadership in the global hydrogen landscape by the year 2030. At its core, the mission aims for the development of green hydrogen production capacity of at least 5 million metric tons per annum. This is a significant figure intended to meet domestic demand from industries like fertilizers and refining, while also creating a surplus for export. Achieving this target is the central pillar around which all other aspects of the mission are structured, driving demand and creating the necessary scale for the ecosystem to thrive. To power this massive production target, the mission anticipates an associated addition of renewable energy capacity of approximately 125 gigawatts. This is a colossal undertaking in itself, reinforcing India's commitment to expanding its solar and wind power infrastructure. It ensures that the hydrogen produced is truly green and simultaneously accelerates India's broader renewable energy goals. This synergy is a key strength of the mission's design, creating a virtuous cycle where the growth of green hydrogen and renewable electricity generation mutually reinforce each other. It effectively turns India's world-leading renewable potential into a storable, transportable and globally traded commodity. The mission also sets its sights on making India a global hub for manufacturing the critical components needed for the hydrogen economy. A key objective is to promote the domestic manufacturing of electrolyzers, the very heart of the green hydrogen production process. By building this capacity at home, India aims to reduce its reliance on imports, control costs, and capture a larger share of the value chain. 
This focus on manufacturing is not just about import substitution. It is about creating a new, high-tech industrial sector that can supply both domestic and international markets, generating thousands of skilled jobs and fostering cutting-edge research and development within the country. Beyond the headline numbers for production and manufacturing, the mission outlines a comprehensive strategy for demand creation. It identifies key sectors where green hydrogen can be deployed to achieve deep decarbonization. These include the fertilizer industry for green ammonia, petroleum refining, and long-haul transport. The government plans to implement policies that encourage or mandate the use of green hydrogen in these sectors, creating a guaranteed domestic market for the initial wave of production. This blueprint is not just a list of targets, it is a carefully constructed roadmap designed to build momentum, de-risk investments, and systematically construct a thriving, self-sustaining green hydrogen ecosystem by 2030. This mission requires substantial financial backing and a robust policy framework. The Indian government has earmarked an initial outlay of 19,744 crores, approximately 2.4 billion US dollars for the National Green Hydrogen Mission. This funding is designed to kickstart the ecosystem and attract private investment. The Strategic Interventions for Green Hydrogen Transition, or SITE, program will support domestic electrolyzer manufacturing and green hydrogen production, helping to bridge the cost gap with conventional fuels. Performance-linked incentives will encourage companies to set up production facilities in India, building a competitive domestic manufacturing base. The mission also establishes a facilitative policy environment including a waiver of interstate transmission charges for renewable energy plants commissioned before 2030. The government is streamlining project approvals, creating a single portal for clearances to improve the ease of doing business. Pilot projects will demonstrate the viability of using green hydrogen in sectors like steel, transport and shipping. The success of the National Green Hydrogen Mission hinges on dynamic action at the state level. Several Indian states have stepped forward, competing to be premier hubs for green hydrogen production. These states are leveraging geographical advantages to attract investment and pioneer the hydrogen economy. The race is on, with states like Gujarat, Rajasthan, Odisha and Tamil Nadu leading the charge by formulating their own hydrogen policies and offering incentives. Gujarat aims to attract investments and establish a large production capacity by 2030, allocating land for green hydrogen and ammonia projects. Rajasthan, blessed with solar irradiance, is emerging as a renewable energy powerhouse, offering incentives for megascale renewable energy parks dedicated to hydrogen production. Odisha and Tamil Nadu are leveraging strengths in heavy industry and port logistics, with Odisha facilitating partnerships to decarbonize its industrial base. Tamil Nadu is developing a comprehensive policy, focusing on hydrogen valleys and attracting investment across the entire value chain. The Indian government's mission has been met with an ambitious response from the private sector. India's largest conglomerates have thrown their full weight behind the green hydrogen opportunity. These companies are announcing mammoth multi-billion dollar plans that span the entire hydrogen value chain. This participation from giants like Reliance Industries, Adani Group and Larsen and & Tubro is a vote of confidence in the mission's vision. Their capital and execution capability are indispensable for translating national targets into reality. Reliance aims to become a leading producer of green hydrogen, investing billions to build a renewable energy ecosystem in Jamnagar, Gujarat. Reliance aims to drive down the cost of green hydrogen to under $1 per kilogram within a decade. The Adani Group has also committed to massive investments in green hydrogen, pledging over $50 billion. Adani aims to develop 3 million tons of green hydrogen production capacity before 2030. Larsen & Tubro has partnered with Indian Oil Corporation and Renew Power, focusing on engineering and manufacturing. The private sector is focused on areas where green hydrogen has a clear business case. A major focus is green ammonia production, replacing grey hydrogen derived from natural gas. This decarbonizes the fertilizer industry and enhances India's food and energy security. Companies like Adani and Acme Group are developing green ammonia facilities. 
These projects establish supply chains for a hydrogen economy. Simultaneously, government and private sector are collaborating on pilot projects. Tata Motors and Ashok Leyland are developing hydrogen-powered buses and trucks, tested in real-world conditions. NTPC is running a pilot project in Leh Ladakh to operate hydrogen fuel cell buses. Pilot projects also target decarbonizing steel manufacturing. The Ministry of Steel supports using green hydrogen in steelmaking. These pilots de-risk the technology and pave the way for large-scale adoption. For green hydrogen to transform our economy, it must flow from production hubs to industrial centers. A key strategy is creating green hydrogen corridors. These integrated networks will support hydrogen adoption in transportation. The vision, high traffic routes with strategically placed refueling stations. This concentrates infrastructure where it's most needed to support hydrogen-powered trucks and buses, connecting major industrial hubs along key highways. The government aims to tackle transportation emissions, specifically from long-haul trucking. Hydrogen fuel cell trucks offer a clean alternative with long range and quick refueling. The corridor concept makes this transition feasible, giving fleet operators confidence. The Ministry of Road Transport is working with partners to develop these corridors through a phased rollout, starting with pilot corridors. These routes will serve as living laboratories, refining the strategy for a nationwide network. India is laying down arteries for a cleaner future mobility system. The green hydrogen economy rests on the electrolyzer, the device that uses renewable electricity to split water into hydrogen and oxygen. To achieve its production targets and become a self-reliant energy leader, India must manufacture these electrolyzers domestically at scale and at a competitive cost. Recognizing this, the National Green Hydrogen Mission emphasizes building a world-class electrolyzer manufacturing base. The government has allocated over 4,400 crores as direct incentives under the site program. In late 2023, the first auction for these incentives saw aggressive bidding, committing to a manufacturing capacity of 1.5 gigawatts per year. Firms are now establishing gigascale factories, primarily in states like Gujarat. The goal is to leverage India's manufacturing prowess and low-cost renewable energy to produce some of the cheapest electrolyzers in the world. The mission's policy framework encourages deep localization and investment in research and development for next-generation electrolyzer technologies. India is strategically positioning itself to be a creator, owner and exporter of the core technologies that will power the global clean energy transition. Beyond factories and infrastructure, India's green hydrogen future hinges on relentless innovation. The mission has launched a Rs 400 crore R&D scheme, uniting top institutions, universities and private labs to tackle the toughest challenges in the hydrogen value chain. Priorities include cheaper, more efficient electrolyzers and fuel cells, better storage solutions, and advanced processes for green hydrogen derivatives. The AIM homegrown intellectual property that gives Indian companies a global edge. Green hydrogen hubs and centers of excellence will cluster R&D, pilot projects, and skill building, accelerating breakthroughs from lab to market. These hubs will also train the next generation of engineers, technicians, and scientists for the industry. The private sector is stepping up too. Giants like Reliance and a wave of startups are racing to cut costs and solve real-world problems. This synergy between public research, corporate investment, and startup agility is fueling a vibrant innovation ecosystem. The result? India's leadership will rest not just on scale, but on technological superiority. Only by fostering this culture of innovation can India secure its place at the forefront of the global hydrogen revolution. Investment and technology alone aren't enough. India's green hydrogen mission needs a robust, adaptive regulatory framework. Early policy moves, like waiving transmission charges, sparked momentum, but now the industry needs clear, detailed rules. Top priority, a transparent certification system to prove India's hydrogen is truly green, unlocking global markets and premium prices. The government is defining strict carbon intensity standards and renewable energy requirements for certification. Safety is equally critical. 
Piso is updating codes for everything from refueling stations to pipelines ensuring safe expansion into public domains. Regulations must evolve with technology. Rigid rules risk stifling innovation. Policymakers are building a dynamic framework, regularly updated with industry and expert input. This ensures India's rulebook keeps pace with global standards and market shifts. With clear, flexible and safety-focused regulations, India can provide the certainty investors need and the agility innovators demand. That's how India will lead in the fast-changing world of green hydrogen. The National Green Hydrogen Mission is about more than energy. It's a catalyst for environmental and social transformation. By replacing fossil fuels in heavy industry and transport, green hydrogen can slash emissions by 50 million tons annually by 2030. Cleaner air means healthier cities, fewer respiratory illnesses, and lower healthcare costs. The mission is also a job engine, set to create over 600,000 skilled positions across manufacturing, operations, and R&D. Building a domestic supply chain will boost ancillary industries and nurture green entrepreneurs. Reducing fossil fuel imports, currently over $160 billion a year, will strengthen India's economic sovereignty. The mission could cut import bills by over Asa 1 lakh crore by 2030, making India more self-reliant and resilient. This is about securing a cleaner environment, healthier lives, and a stronger, more independent India. The true dividend is a nation transformed, economically, socially, and environmentally. That's the promise of green hydrogen. The road to green hydrogen is ambitious, but not without real challenges. Cost is the biggest hurdle. Green hydrogen is still two to three times pricier than grey, so driving down renewable power and electrolyzer costs is essential. Infrastructure is another mountain. India needs new pipelines, storage and transport networks, a massive long-term investment. In the meantime, expensive alternatives like compressed gas trucks or ammonia carriers will fill the gap. Water scarcity is a critical issue. Producing 5 million tons of hydrogen will require 50 billion litres of water, often in arid regions. Solutions include using treated wastewater or desalinated seawater, but these add complexity and cost. Demand must also keep pace with supply. Sectors like steel and transport need policy support and investment to transition. The government's role in coordinating demand and supporting end-use sectors is vital to avoid mismatches. Overcoming these hurdles demands strategic planning, innovation, and coordinated action. Only then can India's hydrogen vision become reality. By 2030, India's green hydrogen journey aims to reshape the nation's energy landscape and set a global benchmark. The mission's success will be seen in new gigafactories, a skilled workforce, and hydrogen-powered transport on city streets. To lead, India must accelerate renewables, streamline regulations and use public finance to unlock private investment in emerging sectors. The transition must be inclusive, spreading jobs and opportunities across regions and communities. Skill development is key to preparing youth for the hydrogen economy. Internationally, India can cement its role by building green shipping corridors and setting global certification standards. The journey is a marathon, requiring resilience and adaptability, but the foundation is strong. With political will, private sector energy, and technological clarity, India can surpass its 2030 targets. By working together, India can lead the world in clean energy, securing a sustainable and prosperous future. That's the true promise of the National Green Hydrogen Mission. The journey to victory is fraught with challenges. For India's Green Hydrogen Mission, the final hurdles are significant, but not insurmountable. The path forward requires a laser focus on cost, infrastructure and water availability. Overcoming the cost barrier is paramount, driving down renewable power costs and fostering innovation in electrolyzer manufacturing. The immediate focus should be on developing integrated hydrogen hubs and mobility corridors. Converting hydrogen to green ammonia offers a pragmatic and scalable solution for exports. The government and private sector must collaborate on pilot projects. A national policy mandating treated wastewater or desalinated water is necessary. Victory will be secured through resolve and collaboration. The Green Hydrogen Mission embodies India's ambition to lead. The prize is a future of clean air, energy independence and global leadership. 
The nation can overcome these final hurdles and transform the vision into a resounding victory.